I just want to uh, welcome uh, Joe Martin to say a couple of words. I'd like to present the rest of the members of the Tla Um I'd like to say welcome to all of you this evening for coming out to a, a very important uh, discussion about uh, salmon farming, which is being presented by Mr. Don Stanford and the rest of his, the people who have helped him. And I'd like to say thank you very much for arranging this. Customary for us, uh, when people come into our lands, that uh, we welcome you here tonight by singing a paddling song. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mainstream like to portray themselves as sustainable. There is something really incongruous about salmon farming, uh, logging, mining in a UNESCO biosphere reserve. Let's not forget that Clackwood Sound in 2000 was designated as a UNESCO biosphere reserve. This was an article in uh, Best Life magazine in 2009. And it just talks uh, about some of the main problems about salmon farming this article talks about escapes, wastes, uh, untreated sewage effluent that goes directly into the sea, the issue of diseases and parasites, which I'll talk about in detail, chemicals, the feed issue, and the interaction with marine mammals. That's just a euphemism for killing marine mammals. But this is a factory farm, and you've got a whole host of impacts. The, the chapter I wrote in Stain Upon the Sea was called Silent Spring of the Sea, and it goes into detail about the use of chemicals on salmon farms, from the artificial colorings, to the medicines, to the parasiticides, to the pesticides, to the contaminants that are, are in the feed of the, the farm salmon. And David Suzuki in 2004 uh, famously said, I would never feed a child farm salmon. It's poison. Daniel Pauly, who's a professor at the University of British Columbia, wrote a couple of years ago in Huffington Post. But there's a hitch. Salmon and many other farm fish are carnivorous, and farming them involves feeding them with animal flesh, just as farming mountain lions would. In this case, the animal flesh supplied in the form of pellets consists of ground up sardines, anchovies, mackerels, and other edible fish caught mainly, you guessed it, in developing countries. About three to four pounds of ground up small fishes are required to produce one pound of farm salmon. Thus, the more farm fish we produce, the less fish there is. This is akin to robbing Pedro to pay Paul. And in the case of uh, Norwegian companies, that's robbing Pedro not to pay Paul, but to pay John Fredriksson, Trond Gist, the Norwegian Minister of Trade and Industry, Geir Isaksen, the former CEO of Mainstream. So salmon farming drains the oceans. You'll have read some of the adverts from the BC Salmon Farmers Association. You'll see some of the TV ads saying that farmed salmon can feed the world. Um, but the reality is that Salmon farming puts a pressure on the world's fish, it drains our oceans, and it leads to a net loss of protein. We're literally stealing uh, edible wild fish from the mouths of people in South America who, who need the food, in Peru for example, who could eat anchovies directly, and feeding it to farm salmon. Uh, under the Marine Mammal Protection Act, you're not allowed to kill sea lions and um, seals, but here in British Columbia, we're shooting seals and sea lions, and data uh, released just recently show that here in Clackwood Sound we're killing uh, seals and sea lions including the the protected stellar sea lion that protected under the Species at Risk Act. So in the first three months of 2011 there's 180 uh, dead seals and sea lions, that's two a day. So mainstream try and explain that away in some of the documents, they say um, aggressive marine mammal attacks threaten the employees and divers. So there's some voracious sea lions going around Clackwood Sound that 
put the safety of salmon farm workers at risk and so we're shooting them. Now, is that really acceptable in a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve? So this is a letter I wrote to the Westerly last week. Does anyone else feel that shooting seals and sea lions is wrong in a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve? The presence of salmon feedlots farming Atlantic salmon has altered the natural balance and is incongruous to Clackwood Sound's designation and as, as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. The United Nations, which awarded Clackwood Sound its status as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, should step in to keep the peace and stop the killing of hundreds of seals and sea lions each year. Letter presented to the King of Norway on behalf of concerned Canadian, Chilean, Scottish and Irish community leaders recently stole the headlines at Aquinor, alerting the Norwegian people to the increasingly negative perception of their country from salmon farms. And as the industry attempts to push southward in Chile and to steal pristine... You know, our council is in complete opposition to it. The impacts that it will have will definitely come into our territory. So we're going to fight you every, every, every step of the way. And I'll, I'll remind you that your office is, is in our chief's territory. Do you want to draw the line? You're welcome. Bring it on. I don't think closed containment is the ultimate solution, but it's certainly better than conventional farming. I believe, it's my opinion, no one gave it to me, that the salmon farms do have an impact on our wild stocks. They have a huge impact on it. I don't like the salmon farming industry the way it is now. It cannot continue like that. 